I don't know how deep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. What's the question? If you could ask Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam one question, what would it be? Uff. Bu fazla derin bu. Bu. This week we're joined by talented award-winning Turkish actor Emre Uçtepe, most famously known for portraying a young Osman Bey in the global hit drama series The Delish Ertuğrul. Born in Istanbul, Emre started acting from the young age of 5 and worked on several projects before preparing for his role as Kara Osman at the age of 12. Along with his strong background in martial arts thanks to his father, Emery spent two years training in several disciplines before filming began. Fans around the world have fallen in love with Emery's portrayal of the third son of legendary Ertuğrul Gazi, who displays a great deal of heroism, bravery, strength, skill and warriorship throughout the show. <laughs> Osman would eventually carry on his father's legacy and establish the Ottoman dynasty. Outside of acting, Emery also involves himself in charitable projects, having recently visited Tanzania to deliver aid to those in need. But who is Emery off screen? What's it like dealing with fame as a teenager? Tell us one thing that people would be very surprised to know about you. Something no one knows and you've mm. never said before. I can see you have secrets inside. <laughs> <laughs> and what about his connection with his faith? How do you advise other young Muslims mm -hmm. um, our age to navigate through, I guess, this time of their life, but to remain firm upon Islam, on the Quran, but still achieve their goals, for example, starring in one of the biggest dramas in the world. Astaghfirullah. Let's learn more about our dear brother. So before I get into the questions, I have a very important question for you. The most important question today, okay? Mm -hmm. MashaAllah. <laughs> <laughs> Bays and Hatons, before we get into the episode, a quick heads up that this one is going to be half in English, half in Turkish. Yes, but don't worry, we do have English, Turkish and Urdu subtitles available for you to enjoy the episode. Just click the settings icon on your YouTube player to access them. Ve Türkçe konuşan arkadaşlarım sizin için de altyazı mevcuttur. Or Mary Urdu Bolan Wale Dosto Ap Kiribi S video me subtitles Mojud He. Also a huge shout out to our sponsor today, which is the charity Zaima, without whom this episode would not be possible. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our podcast here on YouTube or on places like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere else that you listen to your podcast for more inspiring conversations like this. Alright. Or should I say Haydi Bismillah? Hazir Muslim, are you ready? Let's start today's episode, inshallah. Enjoy this one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Usman here again from the Deanspiration podcast show. And once again, I'm super honored and kind of fanboying a little bit, to be honest, and you'll find out why in a second. In the last episode, we spoke to Brother Jilal, who is Abdurrahman Ghazi from the Dilish Ertuğrul and Kurlush Osman series. And in this episode, we are blessed and honored to have someone who I think you'll recognize, especially if you watched Dilish Ertuğrul season five, which is our good friend, our brother, Emre Kardashum. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. And for those who recognize this fine young gentleman, mashallah, it is young Osman from season five. So today we're talking about the journey of acting Ertuğrul experience, but also finding out more about young Emery as well and behind the scenes of what happens in life off camera, inshallah. 
And of course, if you are a regular viewer of the show, you know we have a segment that we love, which is the Reflection Deck, the Reflection Round, using these cards by our sponsors Towards Faith. So, Emily Gardishon, this game is quite fun, mm -hmm. but uh, because of time, I've made it a bit easier. There are a couple of questions, there's going to be two each. Mm -hmm. One of them is a bit more deep, mm -hmm. and one of them is a bit more fun and light, okay? So, I want you to choose only one blue one, and one yellow one, only one each, and put them aside. We're not going to look at them. We'll do this at the end, okay? Alam. Bismillah. Okay, and this one is for me, inshallah. Okay. Hoski Aljanis, welcome. Hi, the Jumalad. How was Juma today? Hi, the Jumalad. Juma, good. I liked the book of Imam's reading. It was very good. It was very good. It was Okay, mashallah. And how are you enjoying the experience? being in the UK so far, how does the Muslim community here differ from back home in Turkey? Ee, programlarda da söylemiştim ben bunu. Buraya gelmeden önce biraz araştırma yaptım ve oradaki Müslüman topluluğun kuvvetli olduğunu söylemişlerdi. Buraya gelip görmek nasip oldu. Gerçekten çok kuvvetli bir Müslüman topluluk var. Herkes birbiriyle e, yardımlaşıyor ve bize de çok ilgi gösterdiler. Çok teşekkür ederiz. Maşallah. Mashallah, and you deserve all of it. And congratulations on the success of the program. Eyvallah. And uh, I'm sure uh, many people here in the UK who love the show would be so happy to see you. I know I definitely am. So before I get into the questions, I have a very important question for you. The most important question today, okay? Mm -hmm. What shampoo do you use? Because I want to make my hair uh, look like your hair, inshallah. Mashallah. Bunu beklemiyordum. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, What's your secret? What's the secret? Uh -huh. Yeah, ben de deniyorum öyle özel bir şeyim yok normal insanlar gibi. Deniyorum sürekli deniyorum öyle özel bir formülüm yok. Ama sizin saçlarınız benden daha güzel maşallah. Estağfurullah, estağfurullah. You have Osman and my friends. They call me Turgut Alp because of my hair. But I think I'm not good enough to be. Uh, I'm just normal person. <laughs> hey, well, um... Okay, so let's talk about <clears throat> your journey, right? So mm -hmm. you came into season five of the uh, Ertuğrul drama series as a very, very young actor, probably one of the youngest actors on the set. Tell me how this happened. How did you get started with this, and what attracted you to this role? How did you even get the role? Ee, bir önceki programlarda da söylediğim gibi, ben beş yaşındayken oyunculuğa başladım ve Havam sayesinde. E, altı tane proje oynadıktan sonra Dilliş Ertuğrul teklifi geldi. E, hazırlıklar yaptık ve katıldım. E, orada bir şampiyona vardı. Onu kazandık. Çok şükür. Ve Osman oynadım. Zorlu bir süreçti ama çok deneyim oldu yani. Mashallah, tell me about the practice you had to do. So your horse riding, mm -hmm. doing archery, your fighting. Young Osman is a very um, enthusiastic, zealous, sometimes mischievous young boy in the show. So obviously, lots of physical activity had to be done. What was your training like? Uh, babam aynı zamanda kickbox uh, antrenörü olduğu için milli takım. Ben küçük yaştan beri spor yapıyorum. Uh, dolayısıyla Diriliş Ertuğrul'da en sevdiğim sahneler, aksiyon sahneleri, en kolay yapabildiğim sahneler. Uh, At binme eğitimi, kılıç, al, kılıç kullanma eğitimi aldık. Biraz oyunculuk eğitimi aldım. Zaten spor yapıyordum. Aksiyon eğitimim vardı. Böyle yani e, çok özel bir eğitim almadım ama çok çalıştım diyebilirim. So playing Osman, um, I guess we'll talk a bit about the, the relevance and significance of this character. But how did playing this and getting involved in the training and playing such a great historical figure. How did it affect you personally in your life as a person, as a young man? Ee, Osman karakteri tarihte çok büyük bir karakter ve aynı zamanda oyuncu olarak Diriliş Ertuğrul çok fazla izlendi. Hmm. Dolayısıyla benim hayatım komple, komple değişti. Ve e, hem Osman'ın hakkını verebilmek hem de gerçek hayatta da Osman ol, olabilmek için e, çok çalış, hala çalışıyorum. Programlar, e, tur, turneler yani güzel oluyor. Hmm. And what would you say between yourself, Emre, and Osman? What is the one most common characteristic you have between yourself in real life and the character that you played? 
Ee, dediğim gibi ben Osman'ı oynamadan önce kitaplar okuyordum Osman hakkında ve e, şunu söyleyebilirim ahlak ve karakter olarak Osman benden çok üstte ve ben hmm. Osman olmaya çalışıyorum sürekli. Hmm. Ama kitap okurken onun en azından fiziksel özellikleri için konuşuyorum. Ee, siyah saçı, e, kara olması, kara Osman denmesi biraz e, fiziksel olarak benzediğimi düşündüm. Yeah, I always hear the phrase Kara Osman mm-hmm. and I guess the history books don't tell you what shampoo Osman used to use so <laughs> you have natural mashallah dark features may Allah bless you. Um, okay, so I guess my question then is you were interested in Osman Gazi anyway. What is your connection and your relationship with the history in Turkey especially through the Ottoman Empire, right? Because of course um Ertuğrul is Osman's father, but then the next season, the next series, Kurdush Osman, begins to tell the story. And for the first time, mm. people around the world who weren't so acquainted with Ottoman history are really interested now, especially back home in my country in Pakistan. So what are your thoughts on that? What's your connection to Ottoman history? And what what are your thoughts on how this is being portrayed now in, in the mass media? Um. Öncelikle tarihe büyük bir ilgim var ama biraz derslerin yoğunluğundan ihmal ediyorum. Fakat bir gün planlıyorum ki çok detaylı bir şekilde Türk ve İslam tarihini okumak istiyorum. Hmm. İslam ve Türklerin gerçekten çok köklü bir geçmişi var. Dolayısıyla sadece Osmanlı değil, ben Osmanlı'yı anlayabilmek için İslam öncesi Türklere de bakmam gerekiyor. Dolayısıyla bir gün inşallah oturup çok güzel bir şekilde okumak istiyorum. I recently went to Istanbul for the first mm-hmm. time properly and, you know, discovering subhanAllah, I mean, all over the world, I've been to Mecca, Medina, I've been to Mashallah. different Muslim countries. But when you go to Istanbul, uh, there's something so special about this place where we know the Ottoman history is there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we know the story of uh, Mehmet al-Fatih as well and and the hadith of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he said that, you know, Uh, one day you will conquer Constantinople mm-hmm. and then we go there and then we have some of the Sahaba and it's just a very incredible experience so I definitely can relate to what you're saying. Ee, maşallah. İstanbul e, dünyanın en özel yerlerinden birisi. Peygamber Efendimizin de hadisi. Ben çok seviyorum. İnşallah orayı daha iyi koruyabiliriz. Mm, and you're from Istanbul, right? E, evet. Okay, maşallah. We're from Istanbul. Uh, Don't uh, worry, we won't come and find your house. <laughs> no problem. Avrupa tarafındayım. Europe side. Okay, I went to Europe side in Sultan Ahmed. Then my my sheikh lives in Uskudar, so I went to Uskudar. Then we went to see Jam the Jah Jami. Amazing, mashallah. So I love Istanbul. Maybe next time I'm there, we can go for some coffee, inshallah. Inshallah, gerçekten çok isterim. Awesome. So when it comes to being a TV star famous chok chok famous mashallah obviously this affects you as a person okay now from what i understand what i can see and have observed from you you're very close to your faith islam you practice islam you pray you fast um you read quran etc how do you deal with so much fame i mean right now you're on tour people are flocking towards you taking pictures we're doing a podcast together how do you maintain this sense of humility because you're a very humble person mashallah and i don't really sense any kind of um what's the word you're not a diva basically uh tabii bu yoğunluk içerisinde benim de başarmam gereken şeyler var mesela islamı korumak ya da e, sabit kalabilmek namazımı orucumu sağlam bir şekilde tutabilmek ama e, biz bu işe başlarken asıl isteğimiz iyi bir müslüman nasıl olmalı değil ee, biz nasıl yani kaybettiğimiz değerleri insanlara nasıl gösterebiliriz? Çünkü ben farklı bir şey yapmıyorum. Bu normal bir şey. Maşallah. And I think to be honest, you are a good role model for other young Muslims out there. So for other young Muslims out there, maybe your age, teenagers, or maybe even my age, old men. <laughs> yes, Tafel, you are look like a young man. I don't know. Yeah, Maşallah. Thank you. Maşallah. And not as young and handsome as you. Maybe one day, inshallah, I will be as handsome as you. Yes, Tafel. Um, they are living in a world with social media. There is lots of pressure to be. Um, you know, to be perfect, to be beautiful. There's not very good examples in there in the media. Um, mainstream culture, especially in the West, is not the most Islamic friendly. 
how do you advise other young Muslims mm -hmm. um, our age to navigate through, I guess, this time of their life, but to remain firm upon Islam, upon the Quran, but still achieve their goals, for example, starring in one of the biggest dramas in the world. Estağfurullah. Bizim Müslümanlar olarak medyaya ihtiyacımız var. Medya alanında biraz zayıfız ve burayı güçlendirmemiz gerekiyor. Dolayısıyla Müslüman e, oyuncu olmak isteyenler bence e, hiç korkmadan sektöre girsinler ve e, aile çok önemli. Aileyi ihmal etmemek gerekiyor ve okumayı bırakmamak gerekiyor. Kim olduğumuzu unutmamak gerekiyor. E, Acele etmeden sakin olarak e, doğru adımlar atarak ilerlemek en iyisidir düşünerek. Yani e, en iyi tavsiye düşünmektir. Wonderful answer. Thank you so much. And I'm so glad to have met you in person. I can definitely say that, mashallah, you are uh, walking the walk as well. You are a living example of someone young who has passion, but also is remaining, remaining firm on their deen. A great example to other young people. So... The question is, what's next for Emily? You've now done the delish as well. Mm -hmm. What's the next project? What are you excited for? And what can we expect from you? Are you going to do something in Scotland, where I'm from? Mm. Maybe some Scottish television, maybe? Oh. Head and shoulders sponsorship. Yeah. <laughs> Champion. Inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Dediğim gibi, biz daha yavaş adımlar atarak ilerlemeyi mm. istiyoruz. Uh, daha az hata yaparak. Uh, ben dünyadaki birçok e, Müslüman e, topluluklarla buluşmayı çok seviyorum. Bir gün İskoçya'ya da belki çok mutlu olurum. Oradaki Müslümanlarla konuşmak, tanışmak. E, Is there a role that you really want to play? Like if you could have hmm. any role that you you just think is perfect for me, my personality, the defining role of my life, what would that be? Oyunculuğun en önemli noktası tabii oynayabilmek ama dış görünüş de çok önemli. Çünkü... Ben Osman'ı oynarken Osman bana benziyordu. Şimdi ben Sultan Fatih'i örnek veriyorum. Oynamak istesem benzemiyorum. Ama inşallah e, tarihi karakterleri oynamayı çok isterim. Böyle e, güzel karakterler oldukça oynamak isterim tabii ki. Hmm. Okay. Ee, küçük ya da büyük faydası olan fark etmez. Her rolü açayım. So not just uh, I guess historical dramas but maybe the next Turkish Superman or superhero or animation films or anything like this or do you think that your heart belongs in acting out these roles that represent real people from history like you said who can benefit through the storytelling mm -hmm. and draw people towards Islam and inspire them and teach them at the same time uh, romantic comedy tarihi karakterler çok faydalı çünkü hem tarih hem İslam aynı anda verilebiliyor ama tabii sadece tarih olmak zorunda değil. Ben dediğim gibi her karaktere, her güzel karaktere oynamak istiyorum, açayım yani. Okay. Well, thank you so much for explaining your story and your journey. We're going to go for a quick break, guys. When we come back, we're going to learn more about who Emery is as a person, inshallah. And we're going to play the Reflection Deck card game by Towards Faith. You definitely don't want to go anywhere. On this podcast, sometimes we do share inspiring ways in which our guests make a difference, but here's how you can make a massive difference and impact to those who desperately need your help. So before we continue, let me tell you about the Homes for Hope campaign by Muslim-led charity Zaima, without whom this episode would not be possible. Zaima is doing fantastic humanitarian work in some of the world's poorest countries, providing financial and medical assistance, shelter, hospitals, food and more, including most recently sending a deployment on the ground to support our families in Palestine. In the last episode I told you about Zaima's Qurbani campaign which mashallah they have already fulfilled successfully in West Bengal, India. However, the work doesn't stop there. Homes for Hope is one of the most important projects led by Zaima which provides shelter, security and a chance of survival for our families in places like Syria, millions of which have been displaced by wars and left to survive in makeshift tents with very vulnerable families. You can just imagine how difficult this becomes in harsher weather conditions. SubhanAllah, we all take our own homes for granted, right? The warmth, our privacy, our security, a roof over our head and somewhere to come home to every single night. But for so many of our own brothers, our sisters, our mothers, our children, 
that don't have the luxury to go back to somewhere safe and are extremely vulnerable when exposed to the outside elements. However, Alhamdulillah, the work has already started, Zaima have already passed over the keys and provided homes for those who need it most. And here's where you come in. If you want to also make a massive difference, give hope to our families out there who need you and are calling upon you, then click the link below this video. Choose the Homes for Hope campaign and inshallah provide shelter and hope for families out there today. All right, welcome back. I'm here with young Osman, aka Emery, mashallah. And we've learned a lot about his journey, but now it's time for a bit of fun. I'm going to ask you some questions about your life. Rapid fire, random fun questions. Mm -hmm. Answer the first thing that comes to your mind. Oh, come on. Malak, it's me. Easy, okay? <laughs> oh, that was so good. Okay, first one, easy. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Are you an early bird or are you a night owl? Uh, it's up to time. Mesela, oh. örnek vereyim. Ben şu anda üniversiteye hazırlanıyorum ve düzenli bir yazış kalkış saatim var. Ama yazın gece. Okay. Good luck with your exams, inshallah. Eyvallah. Tell us one thing that people would be very surprised to know about you. Something no one knows and you've hmm. never said before. Hmm. And I want something good, yeah. No, no soft answers here. Ah. Uh, I can see you have secrets inside. <laughs> He's shy. <laughs> uh, bulmaca çözmeyi çok seviyorum. Yani Rubik küp olabilir uh, ya da uh, mantık isteyen şeyleri çözmeyi çok seviyorum. Okay, good, mashallah. All right. Um, if Allah was to grant you a superpower, mm -hmm. what would you want that to be? Oh, only one. Only one. Only one. Okay, two, because <laughs> you're my friend. Okay, two. <laughs> Eyvallah. Uh, uh, i̇lk özellik, uh, beynimi çok daha iyi kullanabilmek isterdim. Çok daha iyi düşünebilmek isterdim. There's a movie about this. So there's a movie called Limitless, where he takes a pill and it unlocks hmm. more of his brain and he becomes super intelligent like this. Is that about Limitless? No. Limitless. Limitless. Ah, bunu izleyeceğim. Okay. <gülüyor> bunun not, gibi. Not sponsored. <gülüyor> uh, bunun gibi. İkincisi de görünmezlik olabilir sanırım. Oh, <gülüyor> interesting. Okay. Because you're so famous, you have to be invisible. Ha. So nobody can recognize you. Hayır. Your onu... hand is too sore to <gülüyor> signing <gülüyor> autographs, yeah? Ha, hayır, hayır. Bu kesinlikle bunun için değil. So maybe you can sneak into the cinema without paying for a ticket like this, yeah? <laughs> Without paying for a ticket for the bus. Wow, bu yanlış anlaşıldı. Bir dakika bunu değiştirmem lazım. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just having fun with you. Estağfurullah. No problem. Okay. Um, if you were stuck on a desert island mm -hmm. and you could only take one thing with you, what would you take? Sadece bir şey çok şey. Well, you have to be careful what you choose. Tamam. Bunu böyle söylemek zorundayım. Uh, sanırım şey isterdim <gülüyor> uh, mealli bir Kur'an isterdim uh -huh. çünkü ıssız bir adada çok yaşamak mümkün değil büyük bir ihtimalle ve mm. ölürken bari düzgün gitmek. Okay tamam good answer. The Quran is your companion basically and it has the answers for everything you need. Mashallah. Okay so speaking of Quran and Islam some Islamic questions. Who is your favorite Sahabi companion and why? Tüm sahabeler Peygamber Efendimizin bir özelliğini taşıdığı için sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem onları ayıramam. Which one do you relate to the most out of all them? Hmm. Çok şey mesela Hazreti Ali çok cesur bir insan ve ilim sahibi. Ee, Hazreti Ömer adalet sahibi. Yani ayırmak çok şey. Ben e, hepsinden e, Allah onlardan razı olsun hepsinden bir şeyler almak istiyorum. Hepsinden e, fayda sağlamak istiyorum. Ben onları ayıramam. Okay. Good answer. Favorite surah in the Quran? Oh, Rahman. Why? Çünkü Rahman ve İnşirah. Bu ben küçükken en sevdiğim sureler bunlar. Çünkü meali ve şey dinlemesi en keyifli sureler. 
It's one of my favorite surahs as well. Do you have a favorite qari who recites it? Do you listen to the most? Uh, var ama ismini tam hatırlamadığım için yanlış söylemek istemiyorum. Arabistan imamlarından birisi. Mahir el-Muakli olması lazım. Mahir el-Muakli or uh, Meşari al-Afasi or Hepsi şey ama uh, ka- karışık dinliyorum ama şimdi onu hatırladım. Alright, last one of these and then on to here. Mm-hmm. If you could have dinner with any person ever, dead or alive, mm-hmm. who would you choose to have dinner with? Uh, Sultan Abdul Hamid. Why? Çünkü uh, onun zamanı en karışık geçen zaman ve kesin olarak bilemiyoruz. Ben ne kadar okusam da e, kesin bir şey yok ortada ve her şeyi temiz bir şekilde ondan duymak isterdim. Okay. That's a very interesting answer. I still have to watch the Sultan Abdul Hamid mm-hmm. drama. Inshallah I will watch it. Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. It's been fun, but now it's time to play this game. All right. So Bismillah, you go first. You can choose either the fun one or this deep one first. Uh, bu arada, bölüyorum kusura bakmayın. Bu nedir? So in here, there are uh, 150 questions. Fun ones, mm-hmm. personal ones, and deep ones. Tamam. And maybe if we have demand, we can print them in Turkish language as well. Çok çok güzel olur. İnşallah. İnşallah. And you can grab one of these, visit the link in our description. Inshallah. Uh, to grab your copy of the reflection deck. Okay, Bismillah. Mm. What does it say? <laughs> What's your dream job? Okay. Evet. Yes, if you were not doing acting, what would be your dream not, job? Not acting. Not acting. Tamam. Uh, çok fazla güzel meslekler var. Uh, ve he- hepsi bazen onu olmak istiyorum, bazen bu olmak istiyorum. Mesela mühendislik. Uh, de- devlette çalışmak da çok güzel olabiliyor bazen. Yani herhangi bir hayali bir mesleğim yok. Sadece iyi olmaya çalışıyorum. Okay, cool. My turn. Uh, when you are having a bad day, <gülüyor> what do you do to make yourself better? Hmm. So I started doing horse riding as well after watching Arturo mm-hmm. and archery. Mm-hmm. So anything that can help me uh, physically makes me feel better. Oh. Ee, okuduğum bir araştırmada vardı bununla ilgili. Kötü bir gün geçirirken 90 dakikalık bir egzersiz iyi bir hale getirebilir. Maşallah. No, 100%. Yeah, I will show you my uh, horse riding afterwards mm-hmm. and you can tell me if I'm good enough to become an alp, okay? Oh, estağfurullah. <gülüyor> I want to audition to become an alp, yeah? Mm-hmm. And we can send the tip to Mehmet Bey inşallah. <gülüyor> okay, oh, your shot. Next one. Is that deep? Yes. Deep. Mm. I don't know how deep. <gülüyor> Oh. <laughs> oh. What's the question? If you could ask Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam one question, what would it be? Oof. Oof. Oh. Bu <laughs> fazla derin bu. <laughs> bu. Be honest. Hmm. Tamam. Uh, aslında yeah. Tamam, aç, dürüst olalım. Ee, hiç hiçbir soru soramazdım. Ee, yavaş yavaş gideyim, ama biraz uzun sürebilir. Oh. Ee, hiçbir soru soramazdım. Ee, çünkü ben şuna inanıyorum, Peygamber Efendimiz doğduğundan ve ölümüne kadar sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem bütün sorulara cevap verdi. Ve hmm. eğer ben bir soru sorduğumda bana e, okumadın mı ya da bunu öğrenmedim mi diye karşılık vermek vermesinden korkarım yani. O bu çok derin <gülüyor> soruymuş. Ben bu kadar beklemiyordum. This is a really deep question. I, I wasn't expecting this. You almost got me. You wow. almost got me. Wow, that's a very very deep answer and um, I feel very guilty right now. Yeah. Ha, teşekkür ederim. Müthiş of. yani müthiş. Hmm. <gülüyor> yeah. <gülüyor> I don't want to say this on camera. Really? What has been your greatest test so far? And did it draw you closer or further away from Allah? Oh. So um, at one point, just after university, um, I won't go into detail, but let's say someone made up a story about me that wasn't true. Mm-hmm. And it affected my entire life. Oh. I lost my job. And some of my friends stopped talking to me. And my mom became ill because of it. 
And till this day, it haunts me. But Alhamdulillah, people who knew the truth um, were there to support me, which was pretty much everybody. So did it draw me closer or further away from Allah? I think I would be lying if I said that sometimes we question Allah's decision, why? We ask Allah why. But it wasn't until many years afterwards that I know exactly why Allah put me through that test. And actually, looking back, I understand that maybe if it wasn't for that test, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. MashaAllah. This game is hard. So hard. <laughs> I don't like this game anymore, guys. This, this is designed to help us reflect. As Muslims, it's good to reflect. So mm-hmm. thank you so much for playing with me. It's been a pleasure. And I am so blessed and honored to have you on the show. Um, I hope we can meet again. Maybe the next podcast we can do in Istanbul. And Inşallah. you can show me around. Ben çok teşekkür ederim. İkinci bölüm İstanbul'da, üçüncü bölüm İskoçya'da inşallah. Okay, deal. <gülüyor> tamam. I think the word is anlaştık, yeah? Anlaştık. Anlaştık inşallah. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> Eyvallah. <gülüyor> Guys, thank you so much for joining me with Young Osman, a.k.a. Emre Ocetepe, who's been one of my favorite guests. Uh, do you have any final words of mm-hmm. advice, encouragement to say to our listeners? Uh, Videoyu izlediğiniz için çok teşekkür ederim. Ee, i̇nşallah sizlere de faydalı olabilmişimdir. Ee, Diriliş Ertuğrul olarak en büyük desteği e, İslami e, topluluklardan gördük ve bu tarz projeleri izlemek, bu tarz YouTube videolarını izlemek bile e, İslam için büyük bir de- destek ve izlediğiniz için de çok teşekkür ederim. İnşallah devam ettirmek iyi olur yani. Maşallah. One last thing, on our show we have a new tradition. Mm-hmm. I started after 50 episodes. I should have started earlier. We have a guest book here mm-hmm. and we ask our guests to sign the book. But also we ask them to write a dua for the next guest. Mm. Uh, something nice uh, for them to read and they won't know who it came from. I don't know. And you don't oh, know who it's for. Okay. Okay. British. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been an honor. And inshallah, I will speak to you again very soon. Assalamu alaikum. Alaykum wa Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. And anywhere that you listen to your podcast. If you want to learn more about Emery, we'll post all of his social media links, inshallah, as well. And of course, don't forget to check out Dilish Ertaro if you haven't already. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Well, there you have it. I really enjoyed this episode with young Osman, aka Emery Ochtepe, and man, things got really deep towards the end. Question of the day. Are you a fan of the Ertaro drama series? If so, comment below and let me know who your favourite character is and what you love most about the show. And also, if you want to get deep and answer some really reflective questions with your friends and family, pick up the Reflection Deck by our sponsors Towards Faith. Of course, the link is in the description down below. And if you haven't seen it already, make sure you check out last week's episode with Jilal Al, who is Abdul Rahman Alp from the Erturo and Osman series. You'll also love that one too, inshallah. That's it from me. Inshallah, I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, ayy wallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.